you think uh, R&B is going? I think this R&B, new generation thing. I think R&B is entering a super, super beautiful space. I think people are taking what they've learned and what they love about R&B and mixing it with some things they just want to try and how they feel inside. And that is only going to breed mm. new sounds. And I think that, you know, people are afraid of change and we're in an era of change. So it's like you need to learn how to embrace it. Right. And of course, in time, you know, stuff's got to marinate. So it'll get into your system soon. Right. But r and not going anywhere. I've never thought for one moment that R&B was dead. Um, it's being reborn. I feel it. You feel, feel it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Feel Artists it. like yourself, you know. Uh, shout out my girl, Jazzy. Uh, uh, she just dropped Just um, dropped the project. project? Yeah. Shout out Jazzy. She already knows. I already told her. I'm obsessed with That's her right my now. Sis. I yeah. love her. Yeah. She wrote uh, one of the songs on my EP. She did? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who are you speaking to Jazzy? Who is like some of the other artists like that you, you know, you connecting with, you feeling, you listening to at this time? Um, I've been connecting with people that I've met and um because I, you know, people are tight, but it's really like who you are and how you are on the inside. Um, my homie Fabo, he's an R&B artist. He's incredible. Mm. Um, my good homie Foggy Raw, he's a rapper, mm. a lyricist. He's from the DMV. Um, Matt McGee, Money Long. Money Long. That's my good sis. Yeah, yeah. I'll never forget when I first met her. I was just coming to L.A. And I don't know if Mercury's in retrograde, but that month was taking me out. Yeah. And uh, my manager was like, yo, I'm working with um, this artist. Uh, we in the studio pull up and I pulled up and she did like eight songs in like an hour <laughs> Yeah, and part of me wanted to like go in the bathroom and cry because I was just in my head about whatever but there was still something in me that just felt like inspired and challenged and then she and I were just having regular conversation and I just started helping with some lyrics I'm like damn <laughs> I can do this too. And it's not like a person over another. It's like we're peers. Right, right. And I think that is like the quality that I look for mm. when I'm like connecting with other artists. So I, that was just going shout to ask, out to my girl. Shout out to Money Long. Um, I was going to ask that question like, what is your process like with collaborating and writing with other artists? Is it like, a, is, it, is it strictly business or like you want to have that certain vibe, a certain connection? Like, how does it work for Alex, Alex Vaughn? Um, Definitely not strictly business. Um, I think the biggest key to creation is being comfortable. Mm -hmm. So if we're like just, you know, focused on getting the track good. (laughs) All robotic. All robotic. Like (laughs) I'm not going to give my best work. So um, my process is really just, you know, just talking to you, vibing with you. I mean, songs are a conversation. So we need to be able to converse. Right. And then we just start bouncing ideas off of each other. And then before you know it, we just start getting some melodies and, you know, Song creation is not like there's no correct way to do it. So it's a lot of just throwing things against the wall and just being brave enough to just say it out loud. Right. But again, that takes comfort. Right. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> I, I, I used to write by myself, on, like only write by myself. But mm. when I moved to L.A., it was like, oh, my gosh, help feels good. Yeah, yeah. I love writing with other people. I love getting different perspectives. I only know what I know. Mm-hmm. And you only know what you know. And then let's combine it and create something new. I like that. I like that. Let's talk about it. LVRN. Popular label. Shout out my man Tune Day, the whole team over there. Um, how did this come about? So it's my story to my memory. Um, during the pandemic in 2020, we were all like in the house. I was in Maryland. My uh I think no, I don't think it's my grandmother's piano. But there was nothing but a piano in the house that I was staying in, basically. And um, the label, they do like a talent show on their Instagram live and they just let people on and just play for them. And mm-hmm. I didn't know who they were. Somebody else was like tweeting like, y'all get me in this live so I could sing. I like, oh, man, <laughs> let me do it. And I got picked. Wow. And um, I was looking crazy and I just played a couple songs of mine and they were like. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. You said you was looking crazy. I was looking ridiculous. I mean, like, you know, we <laughs> in the pandemic, like. <laughs> I don't got no makeup on. My hair is not done. My eyebrows are grown out. Everything's closed. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, we just... Ugh. But <laughs> they could still see me. Right. And um, and I thought that was pretty cool. And I didn't think that they were going to... You know, I'm just... I just be singing. I do this all the time. I just sing and play. Right. And 
They were like, oh, we got what we need. We getting off the live. Bye, <laughs> y'all. Just like that. I was like, <laughs> again, I don't know what this means. Right. So then I got, we had some dialogue from there. And, um, you know, pandemic was pandemicking. So we kind of lost contact. And then fast forward a couple months, I came out to L.A. Because flights was like, you know, $35. <laughs> and... <laughs> Mm, I'm missing the detail. And then also during the pandemic, I was working on a live album. Mm. And we were in this house every day and it was uh, different musicians. And I'm just writing songs from scratch. And from there, we produced, got the production for Mirage, Mm. which was my first single that I dropped with the label. I had written that song before that session, but that's not important right now. (laughs) Um, yeah, so then fast forward, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, I don't know, my money, he met with someone else on the label, just, you know, just having casual conversation, and he was just playing some records, as we're just making records all the time, and mm-hmm. he played Mirage, and somebody passed it to somebody else. So somebody Mirage passed. is the song that Mirage is put the song together. that put everything together. Nice. And to be honest, I don't even know if they remember that they put me on... The Instagram Live. That was my first memory. Of okay. Um, so they heard Mirage, and then, you know, Money calls me. He's like, yeah, uh, get dressed. We we about to meet with some people uh, <laughs> and look nice. <laughs> and I don't really like stuff like that. <laughs> and look nice. I'm like, I don't really like how you talking to me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't really care for that. <laughs> so, you know, I just put some clothes on, do my hair, Whatever. I don't know who these people are. I, I never been a person that's like, oh my God, I'm about to meet this person. Let me like wear my best outfit, do my uh, best tricks. Mm. Take it or leave. You don't care about none of that. <laughs> this is who I am. Right. So, you know, met Justice. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now that I know Justice, like I totally just know the way we were like having eye contact in the conversation. But I was like, he was pretty regular. I was pretty regular. Like. He was asking challenging questions. I'd answer them how I answer them because I'm a witty woman. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was just a vibe check. It was nothing, I, man. It was nothing. Yeah, I, was again, like... I don't really know. Well, even when I did the live, I didn't know, like, you know, they were labeled. I didn't know this is where Summer Walker was signed. I didn't, uh, know. I, I didn't really put all that together. Uh, I was just vibing. Yeah. And um, we had the meeting. We left the meeting. And Money was like, yeah, we about to go to dinner. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm missing it. Why? Right. I think they about to sign you. Damn. I was like. Really? Okay. And then I got the official offer, and I'd say it took like a month for me to process like... What was really going on? Yeah. I was like... And then I just woke up one day and ugly cried. Like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, fast forward to October 2021, the dry, the ink was dry. The ink was dry. Alex Vaughn, LVR and Interscope. Shout out my man Amir, also in the building. Ooh, man. Ooh. <laughs> Trendsetter, trendsetter.